it's just when it moves from one side to the other, it honestly is like, and we're so high in the air. Good evening. It's a bit late. Why are we starting so late? Well, I think, should I let you explain this? Maybe. Okay. Even though I'm 30 years old, I still get excited about things like that. <laughs> so that is the 10th largest, what are they called? It's not a Ferris wheel, is it? Is um, it? Yeah, I think it is. Apparently that's the 10th largest in the world, and it's in Da Nang. And we're at a place called Asia Park, which is this, I actually pointed it out in the recent vlog when we went to Da Nang at the rooftop bar, you could see this Ferris wheel, and I pointed it out so some of you might remember. Anyway, they only open like late in the afternoons and into the evening, and they've got... <laughs> Just excited. in time for big kids. <laughs> It's almost my bedtime. We don't actually know much more than just the Ferris wheel that's here. Um, oh, and you can ride, there's like an entrance fee and then you can ride as much as you like. Yeah. I think. So we're gonna go and figure out how much that costs and go and, well, you guys can find out with us. We've got no idea what's in here. I've never been to a theme park on a weekday, let alone at 5.30. It's massive and there's, there's barely anybody here, but it's very odd. There's all these weird performances. No idea what's happening here. So 300,000. Where is everybody? I don't know, it's very quiet, aside from the weird performances. It's so big, I've never been to a theme park that is just empty like this. So we've got no map, there's nobody here. There's these weird performances in Vietnamese we don't understand. There is some signage in English, but for the most part, the only thing we can really see is the Ferris wheel. Hard to tell on camera, but this thing is enormous. It's actually bigger up close than what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so we've found a map. Wow, okay, so we didn't even realize that there were like, there's roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster, and another one, some spinny swing thing. There's this massive monorail, which apparently is the most modern in Vietnam. Uh, wow, okay, we've got a lot of discovering. But we're here, I think, let's go on the Ferris wheel. Okay. Get the views. This is just the strangest thing. It's almost like being in Vegas. Like it's so grand, but weird as well. And Vegas is a bit weird. We've just come through this like grand entrance and, and there's nobody down there either. Just kidding guys, we've come to an abandoned <laughs> park. We had to turn the power on when we arrived. <laughs> They're trusting us to lock up when we leave. Let's walk in and see what this is about then. There's still absolutely nobody here. I think we just woke up, babe. Okay. Drive by. <laughs> Whoa. So, how are you feeling about this experience? <laughs> it's very high. Yeah. It's okay, we're still, we're still low enough for me not to be freaking out yet. Well, if you want to get distracted by something, you can be uh, taken in by the sunset. Which oh I think... God, I thought you were going to tell me something bad. <laughs> Yeah, they start flipping about halfway through. <laughs> So Stace is actually a little bit worried to go on some of the roller coasters, whereas I'm like a little kid up here, and I'm like moving from side to side, and this like counterbalances. It's just when it moves from one side to the other, it honestly is like, and we're so high in the air, but like I'm casual about it, it's fine. So we're officially at the top, and this gives you an idea of just how massive Da Nang is compared to Hoi An. It's such a big place. We actually feel a bit like overwhelmed with how big it is here compared to where we've been staying. So if you look back, there is the Marble Mountain that we were at the other day. So that was about 15 minutes, I think, the whole way around. It took a little, bit, a little slower and took longer than what we thought it was going to. And then we got to the bottom. Oh, and they forgot about us. <laughs> 
so we're like, um, hello, excuse me, can we get off? And they're like, oh. <laughs> they obviously want to get you out at like the peak of the bottom. Instead, we were like heading halfway up the ramp and had to like jump off on an angle. It's hilarious. We made it. So we've come to a place now which is like a game, a game arcade world. And all of these are included as well, apparently. It just keeps getting weirder. We actually have no idea. Oh, oh. Fill with balls. Oh! This is just the oddest place for a couple of adults to be hanging out. So this one's not really up Stacey's alley, but I'm gonna try and run it on this one right now. Oh, you just clip yourself in. Oh my God. This is why I'm not going on this ride. It was better than I thought. Did you think for a minute that it wasn't going to come like... I totally did. And I was like, oh, I'll let off the hook. Maybe this is some baby thing. And then it went back up and was like... Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're at the Ferris wheel. This is some big boy stuff now. Pick your steed. Ooh, I like this one. My beast here. G'day. Safety first, kids. Seatbelt on. Looks like it's gonna do a great job. <laughs> I didn't realize these things go so fast. So I need a seatbelt. Just as well, safety first. <laughs> actually way better than what I thought it was gonna be. I think we did multiple flips, like there was heaps of like cool crews and stuff. I think as you get older, like your your fear lifts, do you know what I mean? Like you, yeah, you're yeah. more aware of like what an accident or what like danger is. Can so I hear you screaming? Were you like, well not screaming. Yeah, I was like going, Bah! Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah, sure I can hear you. I loved it, it was good. But I think it's time, let's chill a little bit. There's a monorail, I think we'll go and find the monorail. And okay. just uh, let my stomach settle before I have some food. <laughs> Bit of a correction, it's actually not called Asia Park. I don't know why we thought that was the case. I think it must have been their old name because some of the shirts that the staff are wearing still say that. It's now called Sun World Da Nang Wonders. Yeah, we've just finished up on the, uh, the monorail, which was, we probably should have done first because it was so slow and it was dark now, so you couldn't really see too much. I feel like we said it's weird a lot, but I think that was <laughs> yeah. just because there weren't that many people there. But yeah. like, the rides and everything were really fun. It was good that you didn't have to wait in queues. Yeah, no no people is so much better than the alternative. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would say like maybe don't 
specifically come yeah. to Da Nang for this. Exactly. But like, if you're here and you want, you're looking for something to do, then definitely hit it up. Yeah, cool way to kill a couple of hours. We had fun. I was like a little kid for a little for a while, running around and enjoying myself. <laughs> so, yeah, why not? It's good. We're now going to go and find the best burgers in Da Nang. It's called Burger Bros, and we've heard really, really good things. These look absolutely incredible. The presentation and everything is on point. Chips are crisp. Some sauce as well. Or well, ketchup, sorry. Okay. Comes in its own little... Uh, little envelope. Oh, that's so good. So we added bacon as well because, you know, you can't not. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're good. I had really high hopes, but... I still don't think that it would impress me this much. It's like soft, but it's like crispy. The, the, um, the meat is like big and meaty and hearty. I'm, I'm super happy with this. So a few of our subscribers actually told us that this is the best burger that they've ever had. And I quite honestly think that it's definitely up there. It was so good. We've been eating a lot of Asian food recently, obviously for the last like six months, so we haven't really had anything uh, Western. We haven't really eaten a burger other than maybe one cheat night at McDonald's because we were hungover. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so yeah, massively high up there on the list for us as well. But I think we need to go and find something sweet for dessert now, just to finish oh, off the night. Oh yes. So I think we'll leave you guys here. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully the theme park randomness and the wonder park or whatever <laughs> it was, cool. it was interesting. Uh, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.